Dear Morgan, when I saw you on the bleachers, I thought you looked like Cleopatra. Obviously, I've been watching too much History Channel. I caught this show where a bunch of archaeologists dug up some Roman coins with her face carved on them. She looked really different from the movies. Actually, she wasn't that hot. Okay, that sounded weird. Let's start over. I'm sitting here in the basement laundry room. I keep thinking about last Friday in the library. I couldn't believe you were actually talking to me. Seriously. You and your friends are like royalty at Palm Hammock, and I'm this non existent entity. Guess that makes me the perfect spy. You're gonna hate me forever when you figure out what I'm really doing talking to you guys. Then yesterday at the field, I started having second thoughts. You look so cute with your old school headphones and that awesome dress. I mean, who wears a dress to school? I felt like you were being totally real with me. That was the best conversation I've had in months. To be honest, I used to think you were stuck up. Not that I'm judging you or anything, just saying. Notice I keep using exclamation points. I can't stop thinking about the stuff you said. Please don't think I'm a creeper. I found your email on Facebook. I want to ask you a million stupid things. Question numero uno. Why were you hurting yourself? I hold my cards close to the chest. Maybe you're like that too. I don't want you to get hurt, even if you are involved in this drug stuff. I want you to understand that I'm working on a plan. Not sure what exactly. You can bet it won't be some lame ass hero bullshit. I need to figure out a way to separate the good guys from the bad. And right now, it's not so easy. I mean, helping me find one bag of weed doesn't make you public enemy number one, does it? My mom just came in here and yelled at me. I swear she thinks I'm mentally damaged and can't function on my own. This email is becoming unintelligible. Sorry if I'm not making any sense. I smoked a blunt and I'm decently baked. I don't have the balls to send this letter. I should sign it sincerely, but that never sounds sincere.